things are not looking good for Luc Besson's sci-fi epic Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. The expensive film was obliterated at the domestic box office in its opening weekend, falling in fifth place with only $17 million against the reported $180 million production budget. Considering the weight Besson's name carries with sci-fi fans, many may be surprised to hear that his most recent outing had that much trouble finding an audience. However, there were actually quite a few warning signs that Valerian would fail. Here are the real reasons why Valerian was an intergalactic disappointment at the box office. Little-known source material Valerian is based on the French comic strip, which ran from 1967 to 2010. Besson had been reading the comic since he was a child, and dreamed of adapting it into a film for years. But he had to wait until he had the right technology and experience to pull off the comic's unique vision. Despite its wide readership overseas, though, the comic never quite found an audience in the United States. So, when the title for Besson's passion project popped up on potential audiences' feeds, a lot of people weren't as familiar with the comic characters as some of those other superhero stories that tend to tear up the box office. The familiarity factor that such a draw for similar adventure movies was gone right from the start. Story Confusion Compounding the confusion was the fact that Valerian seemed to offer audiences vague marketing materials that did little to explain what Valerian was actually about. The previews focused heavily on the film's style over its content and focused on off-putting aspects of the story. You flirt. I smile. None of the trailers took the time to go through the reality of the threat against Alpha, or to discuss why Valerian and Laura Lean were chosen to stop it, which made the previews feel hollow and unimpressionable. We need the two of you to be the guardians of our future. While the marketing might have drawn in a few viewers who'd want to see Bassan's visual spectacle unfold, focusing entirely on the style over substance and the marketing wasn't necessarily a smart choice. Since a lot of would-be audience members aren't familiar with the comic series, that lack of understanding may have just been a turn-off at the ticket booth. Ho-hum reviews some well-established sci-fi worlds have been able to pull in both dedicated and casual fans alike, while others have struggled to find the mass-market appeal necessary to make up their huge budgets. As with any movie with an unusual premise, good reviews can be a huge boost to creating audience interest when there's not already established fan base in place. With Valerian, though, the critical love line wasn't quite there. Some reviews panned the leads for not having chemistry and called the story empty, with the impressive visuals being singled out as a lone point of positivity for the film. Those middling reviews were hardly enough to bring in sci-fi skeptics who'd maybe been on the fence about seeing the movie. Up-and-coming actors Although Dane DeHaan and Cara Develine are both well-known amidst industry circles, neither have established themselves as bankable blockbuster stars just yet. DeHaan is best known for his indie film appearances, while Delevingne only recently made the switch from modeling into the movie star business. Even those popcorn flicks he have appeared in, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and Suicide Squad respectively, were largely disappointments and did nothing to prove their profitability or earn them household name recognition. Stiff Competition the opening weekend for Valerian was packed with alternative options for the theater-going crowd, including Christopher Nolan's widely praised war epic Dunkirk. The film offered the visual dynamism Valerian promised, and it had gripping true story subject matter at the center. Meanwhile, the R-rated ensemble comedy Girls Trip offered viewers a chance to let loose and enjoy some adult humor, which may have been a draw-in for those who are experiencing a bit of superhero summer fatigue. The film also came out just two weeks after Marvel's juggernaut Spider-Man Homecoming and just one week after the trilogy ender War for the Planet of the Apes. While both films saw their box office performances pushed beyond initial expectations due to strong reviews, it was easy to see that they'd have legs long past their release dates. The combined array of those four other options might have given theatergoers some pause about choosing to see Valerian too. Creative Salvation A number of different figures have been thrown around for Valerian's budget, but they all point to one thing – it was high. The film, which has been reported as the most expensive French production of all time, likely cost somewhere around $200 million, including marketing. Yeah, well, time flies when you're having fun. That means it'll require a pretty stellar comeback in order to make a profit. However, there is still some hope for Valerian. 
Like many domestic flops in the summer of 2017, the international box office could be a savior. The movie is expected to do big business in France, where viewers are familiar with the comics, and will continue to be rolled out in international territories throughout the summer. The best hope for the film, however, comes from Bassan's creative method of financing it. Tax credits are one of the film's first helpers, with estimates saying that they bumped the film's cost down by $50 million. The movie is also said to be covering significant parts of its budget through equity financing and foreign pre-sales. Still, the slow start for Valerian is not a good sign for the film in the long run, and is an even worse sign for Bassan's already planned follow-up films. The movie will have to do significant business overseas in order to be considered a success, and it seems unlikely that it will be able to break its perception as a box office flop. Hey. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.